It's a game, really, we don't have to sell for you. It's got such a fascinating history. We could have sold the stadium out, what, five, six times over, I reckon. What a match. And it's live. Very warm welcome to you to the south coast of England, to Brighton. The Amex Stadium is our venue. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. It's Brighton against Portsmouth. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Really anticipating something special from him here today. He's not what you would call a, an individual in that uh, once he's got the ball, it's head down. He lifts his chin and he, he picks the best option. Brighton will play with these players today. Dan Byrne starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Portsmouth lineup for this game. 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Well, there's the first whistle, and the game is underway. Well, you could see what he was trying to do, but he couldn't execute it at all. And they've spread it out wide here. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Brave blocking. Curtis. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Well, he's gone into some traffic, but it could be dangerous here for the opposition. Rodriguez. On the attack here. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Well, that counter-attack didn't work, and they might be counter-attack themselves now. That's a good block. <laughs> Trying to catch them out by going short. Clipped up towards the back post. A really close, great technique there. Oh, there's no finer sight than when you get that right. Unlucky. He's put it over the bar from a really promising position. Well, that was all he had to do. If he had kept it down, it was a certain goal. Space to go forward into with the ball. In the clear in front of goal. Fantastic save. And we've got a goal. That's the first one. And I think there'll be a few more to come. Oh, I always 
used to love scoring these type of goals. When you're there first, it feels good, this. Another angle on it here. So the first goal, it's 1-0. I would guess in this possession play here, they're trying to get the opposition to come out and harry them and maybe bend past their way through them. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Dembele. Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. Now Rodriguez. Cordoba. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Opportunity to cross here. Got to be. It's offside, and the referee's given it. Alan McAnally is at the St Mary's Stadium today. Alan, news of a goal, I believe. It's a goal for Brentford. 28 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Able to make the interception. Going forward with real purpose now. It was an easy save. Can he pick somebody out? But well, what a good try. Off the outside of the post. Certainly caught it, and I don't think the keeper was getting across to that. And it is a, a header away and out of play. Curtis. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Dembele. He's got support in the centre. Defender has taken a gamble, it looks as though it's paid off. Good distance to the clearance then. It goes out wide again. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. They look at the ref. He says penalty. Didn't hesitate, did he? Pointed to the spot. Penalty given, but no extra punishment for the culprit. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. I mean, it was a foul, but uh, he's not denied an obvious goal-scoring opportunity there. The short route here. The cross is long towards the back post. The defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. He's gone in with the header, but the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. Uh, 
the referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Could get his cross in now. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. The opposition looking to close him down. Rodriguez. Now Cordoba. Well, that's half-time at 1-0. Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, they've got the opposition on the back foot with this break. They're coming at them with numbers. Dembele going for goal and it's an equalising goal here where did that goal come from top class well, it's come in from a long way out and from that angle it's not always easy to finish defenders caught out by it in the end It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Now, Rodriguez. Another transfer involving Kevin De Bruyne, who has moved to Atletico Madrid. Yeah, about 75 million. That is a really positive move. I think it's vital that he settles down quickly at his new club. It's been a goal at St James's Park, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Newcastle United. It's been scored by Gaetan Laborde. A sweetly struck volley to finish off a lovely flowing move. 54 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Cordoba. It goes out wide again. Drills it in. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. They're looking good when they attack. Looks to shoot! Straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Dembele. His teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. A threat at the moment, but they have got the ball, and that I suppose is a threat. Well, they've made the defenders turn here with that pass. He couldn't have hit that better. Difficult technique. Yeah, and you've got to have confidence to take that on, and he is playing with confidence. Well, this might just be a contender for goal of the season with a move in mind, too. What a good cross! Well, let's take another look at the goal. It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team could go on and win this. So we restart with Portsmouth in the lead. Substitution now for the home team. That's good vision to see the pass. Players up in support if he needs them. Alan McAnally is our man at St James's Park today, and a goal to tell us about Alan. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 67 minutes played, 2-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Trying to pass their way into position to level the game.
That's a turnover in play. And 20 minutes to go. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Good challenge. Well, the crowd sensing that their side's running out of time here. Need something to happen soon. The possession now is regained by Portsmouth. No need to stop the play there because they've got the ball and they can use the advantage. Chance to put it in the box from here. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. Cordoba. Chance from the puck. Good save by the keeper. I don't know if they can turn this around. Their creative players have not been at the party really today. Not been able to create the chances they normally do. It's a penalty at St James's Park, we understand. Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Newcastle United. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Does he pick a spot or does he go for power? Oh, he's gone for power, but it's straight down the middle and the goalkeeper can't stop it. Eight minutes remain, 3-1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Keep an eye on the watch because we haven't got that long to go. And the team know that. They can't get too desperate, though. They need to keep some sort of poise about their play. Yeah, they've got to keep the shape. I mean, it's not time to throw the centre-half and the goalkeeper. Turned aside there by the keeper. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. They're looking good when they attack. Oh, time to get the cross now. The men in the middle frustrated. because that cross has gone straight behind. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those... ...opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Two more minutes to play of added time. Two minutes. Well, this could be their last chance to salvage something from this game. Now, can he cross it? Good block, but a poor cross. And the referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time.